Every capital project needs a project execution plan, which has specific elements that need to be thought out and properly executed to meet project expectations. Unfortunately, sometimes the plan gets changed or maybe it's just not followed. This can leave many things to change and heaven help you if you have to live with the results. The operation can be problematic and unreliable at best. At worst, Unexpected failures can bring the whole unit down or cause a safety hazard. Either way, if there's lost production, maybe somebody gets hurt, this gets the attention of management from top to bottom. There are five critical keys to successful FRP projects, so let's go through them. First, you need up-to-date specifications. If you don't have good equipment specs, you can shoot the project in the foot from the start. Old performance-based specifications are not good enough to meet today's expectations. And worse yet, they can lead to problems. Old specs have gaps in details of execution that can allow marginal materials or less than ideal standards of design and workmanship. Project specifications need to be detailed and subscriptive. They should define all expectations, including those for materials, design, fabrication, and inspection. Don't send out a spec that has holes in it that you can drive a truck through. So let's talk about the second key. It's important to rely on qualified manufacturers. The manufacturer that builds your FRP equipment is one of the most important decisions that you'll make. Selecting a poor or marginal manufacturer based on a good sales pitch or maybe just price is not a good foundation for success and long uh, service life. Manufacturers should be pre-qualified for technical expertise, quality, fabrication capability, and capacity. These days companies are always changing. Things happen, they're getting better, sometimes they're getting worse. There's a regular change that happens among manufacturers. A structured on-site shop audit is the best way to evaluate manufacturers' current strengths and capabilities. Make sure you don't forget to do this. Now the third key, pay attention to the technical support. Detailed and comprehensive engineering design are critical for the success of your FRP project. This is required at two levels. First, the manufacturer needs comprehensive product design for their FRP piping and tank components. The manufacturer needs resin and reinforcement specific material testing for every product and design. And then secondly, all calcs need to be reviewed and checked for accuracy by an FRP subject, subject matter expert. This can be a corporate SME or an external resource like Maverick. The bottom line is the SME must have intimate knowledge of FRP materials, structural design, standards to properly review and validate the FRP calculations. To overlook this can lead to unreliable performance and even equipment failure. So the fourth key, demand ongoing quality control. Quality control is critical at every step in engineering, manufacturing, and in installation. We talked about checking calcs, that's QC and engineering. QC and manufacturing includes making sure that the right resin and glass are being used, ensuring certified bonders are making the joints, checking tolerances, performing all the quality checks per the standards. The manufacturer should have a book of quality documents that are provided with the FRP shipment. Then this process should continue on site during installation or all site assembly work. Every process should be documented. If this, if this hasn't happened, how do you know what's been done? If not, what are the potential consequences? Diminished service life, problematic leaks, safety hazards, lost production, you name it, none of it's good. And the fifth and final key, focus on quality assurance. Quality assurance is the owner's responsibility. The owner has the largest stake in the process. So they need to know that the calcs have been complete and done right, and that all the equipment has been built in accordance to project specs and standards. Materials and material products should be confirmed and drawings reviewed. The owner or their third-party representative should inspect the equipment 
during fabrication, including making sure to witness all the critical hold points, such as fabrication of the corrosion barrier, setting of the nozzles, assembly of the main components, and the final testing. This phase is the owner's final check to ensure that the FRP equipment that they purchase is going to meet expectations. The interesting thing about this process is that it applies to nearly all projects. Unfortunately, at times, there's a lack of understanding of FRP materials and their unique needs. What tends to happen is that if the owner or the owner's engineer doesn't have an in-house SME, some of these keys get taken for granted. Specs may be out of date, or the vendor may be questionable. Will the calcs be checked? Was the fabrication inspected? Were the right materials used? All of these are foundational questions that should be answered to your satisfaction. Any one of these five critical keys can mean the difference between long service, problem-free performance, and a potential disaster in the making. So give us a call to discuss your needs and how we can help you ensure that plant reliability comes first, that you properly manage your risk and that every project is successful. We look forward to supporting your needs and thanks for watching.